Hello there, welcome to this uh, learning tutorial. This learning tutorial has been created to show you how to use PowerPoint to create web graphics. Now, you may be wondering why somebody would use PowerPoint to create web graphics rather than using programs such as Photoshop or Fireworks. Now, you may be wrong. PowerPoint we know is a program designed for creating presentations. But with time, I've actually found out that PowerPoint is more than we think. PowerPoint can be used to create sophisticated graphics and uh, many graphic designers actually use it. For example, we've got websites that look like this. People use PowerPoint to create banner graphics like that. People use it to create graphics like this. We've got a website like this. PowerPoint can actually be used to create web graphics such as this banner can be created, create web graphics such as these buttons. Now, what I've got I need to show you how actually people use PowerPoint to create powerful web graphics. For example, these buttons actually took them from a website that allows us to create uh, buttons. Now this is one of them. This website allows you to create uh, website uh, buttons and we've got another one here. This is another website that allows you to create uh, uh, buttons, banners, but sometimes some of these uh, websites are not allowed to be used in exams. Alternatively, if you are using them for coursework, some of these uh, websites uh, actually do not allow you to have uh, uh, proper graphics without putting their logo so there you are stuck so as a student you really need to know how to use uh, programs like Photoshop fireworks to create uh, web graphics now the problem is if you are doing an exam such as uh, unit one cider this is an exam that takes you uh, two hours and 30 minutes to create a full website if you don't really have very good skills and very good tactics of actually creating this kind of uh, content you cannot finish the website which means you fail so in this uh, tutorial I'm quickly going to show you how PowerPoint can help you to uh, solve things uh, like creating banners creating buttons now I have got uh, some examples here these are banners that are actually created in PowerPoint I've also got uh, other examples here these uh, examples I actually created in PowerPoint and I will show you how I did this. These are buttons that actually I created in PowerPoint and I can use them in uh, my website. Now if actually I even show you here, these are the actual uh, finished uh, uh, images that I've actually uh, managed to save. If I open them, this is one of them. You can see these are finished uh, uh, graphics images that actually I can now straight take to my websites now what I'm now going to show you how do we actually use PowerPoint to create things like this I will start off with uh, buttons now what we actually have here is most cases in exams they will actually say that either create actually I will start with a uh, 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 banners because that one actually will make things easier. They will normally say that you need to create a website uh, such as 940 pixels by such pixels. Now, because pixels often are not the things that you use in PowerPoint, people get stuck. Now, what I've got is I've got a website that allows you to convert pixels into centimeters. So for example, I knew I needed a banner that is 940 pixels by 90. I just put in my dimensions here. Even if you change it maybe to 800, it automatically comes here. So I've already got these uh, dimensions. So you may be wondering how I managed to calculate this. So this is really how I did it. There are many websites that allow you could use a calculator, but that takes you a lot of time. So what I'm now going to show you is a simplest method that I've actually gone to know. There are many methods, but this is my approach. So what I need to do is I will need to use shapes. Now insert, that's number one. I need shapes and I'm going to go for the rectangle here. Now that rectangle, I need it to be 24.9 centimeters width. When I touch it and I go to format, this is where you change the dimension. So you can see at the moment the width is 21. I need it to be 24.9. 24.9. So that's it. Now 24.9. And now also I need the height changed. The height should be 2.4 centimeters. 2.4 centimeters. So now there 
I've managed to get my size dimensions but what I also want to say you need to remove the line so when we go here to shape outline can you say no line you could choose any color you could really choose any color that you want but at the moment I just want to show you what I actually designed in my previous uh, tutorial now this is really a finished shape all I now need to do is if I go back to my uh, previous uh, design I managed to put the word uh, multimedia.com so I will go back to my uh, design that so all I need now to get is a text box I would have written my text inside this box because I'm using s different shapes I would uh, prefer to use a uh, text box so how uh, if I type in uh, multimedia dot com so I will now take my multimedia dot com here perhaps uh, I can increase the size and maybe even make it uh, uh, thicker now I've got some images I've got uh, uh, images that I managed to get from uh, uh, the internet perhaps uh, I will take uh, uh, this uh, image here if I copy that image of course that's not the right way of putting images but I'll just use that I will paste the image here now this is the problem now you can see of course I would leave the image as white but I will show you a better way now this is what I do I will click on the image then I go to format there is something here I don't know if you've used it it says recolor and at the top it says set transparent so click on that icon and then go and click on the white area so now the white has been removed of course sometimes it doesn't do it properly Sometimes it doesn't do it properly, but I'm actually a bit lucky here. So that's how I managed to remove all my uh, white color from the image. So all I did is I click on the image, I went to go to format, recolor, and I clicked on that icon. So my image is there. Now maybe what I want to do, I wanted to do some fancy stuff here and maybe change the word dot com, I mean the section dot com to another color. So I went and highlighted it and I chose it. Uh, I think I chose uh, yellow so I may have even gone further and I did some extra colors here pink so that's really how I managed to do that section so I could really make this to be maybe in the center I could move my uh, image here now if I now n say something these are now so far three components I've got the image I've got the a rectangular shape and I've got the text so what I need to do to make them at, as one item so I will highlight everything then right click group so I have now managed to group it so if I move it it's one sorry it, it hasn't moved pro it hasn't been grouped properly I need to highlight everything properly right click then group okay so now it's one item so what I need to do is I need to right click on it and then say save picture as and now I want you to see there are so many formats we need to use the format PNG why do we use the format PNG this is the reason it makes your graphics transparent we use the PNG format to make the graphics transparent so I will call this as a practice uh, banner practice banner one so I will save it now if I go back to my uh, images where I've been saving this information I will have a practice banner so if you I right open this can you see I've got my practice banner here now can I also show you why do we save these things as a PNG if I copy that I'm um, go back here and put it in I'll paste it here can you now for example if I got a shape with another color here okay I'll put that a different color I wanted to show you why I've actually put it as if I right click bring to front can you now say that there is no it's not white if we I didn't save it if I save it as a, a JPEG everything would normally be a white actually I'll do that let me right click save another one right click save picture as then I change this to JPEG this is what most people do I actually call this uh, 
jpeg banner save now if i go back to uh, my work here if i copy that jpeg and i bring it to our work just to prove a point can you now say that actually this has actually worked because it's a tiny thing but in most cases it should really show white but at the moment anyway i'm not going to be wasting your time all i wanted to prove to you is uh, always save these uh, images as png so that really would work straight so maybe now what i can also show you is uh, how to uh, create a uh, button now what I will do, for example, actually, before I do anything, uh, if I copy that and paste it here, uh, right click, actually I move it a bit here, uh, right click, uh, ungroup, I could maybe even say I don't need an image, I could get another image, you don't really always uh, think that this uh, kind of work would be really very complicated, but actually it's not complicated, so if I paste that image, sometime i may decide not to remove the white now this is the point rather than wasting your time resizing that image you can click on your uh, box you know it's see uh, 2.4 centimeters uh, height wise so i can go to my image and just change that to 2.4 and there i am so really my uh, image fits uh, exactly so this is really another way so i could write hi highlight my image just a minute here so I can highlight everything uh, right click group now I've got my um, banner here I can now right click save picture as I can now go to practice uh, banner tool there I am so within a few minutes I've managed to create my banner now I've now taken a few minutes but also I want to show you how to create a button so it's the same method so I will go now to uh, my button here I can get a uh, shape actually I'll use this fancy shape here now the dimensions are 250 pick by 100 pixels I managed to use uh, uh, the, uh, the other website I showed you at uh, the beginning this is the website and it gave me the dimensions which is 6.6 .6 times 2.7 centimeters so I went to my format uh, I put in uh, the dimension 6.6 .6. then sorry that's the height I made a mistake that is 2.7 and then the lengthwise is a 6.6 6.6 now there we are so now this is really what I can do I can say right click edit text to write the text in itself alternatively I can undo that I can uh, just a uh, uh, mistake here I'm, uh, I went too far yep I can copy that paste here I want to show you there are many ways you could do text you can write uh, the text using another uh, box uh, like that or I can just go to this uh, shape by right clicking edit text and the text goes inside the shape so there are many ways so I can say here page name because I'm actually creating a template that I will use for all my buttons so highlight and uh, I can now increase maybe I need the uh, size uh, 28 or you if you want you can go further so that's one uh, method now I can copy this uh, shape just to show you more approaches so in PowerPoint especially I'm using PowerPoint 2007 but PowerPoint 2010 has even got more effects buttons often are three dimension so I think if you see this is much better than actually I had flat buttons okay can work for example we got uh, the previous uh, website I don't know these ones are all fl uh, f simple buttons so you can see they are all simple buttons but when you go to this kind of websites they actually give you cool websites buttons so I sometimes want to compete with websites like this so by creating three dimension buttons so that's one approach you can even change the colors here 
you can see there are many ways so by right clicking saving the picture as change, making sure the file format is png i can now call the uh, practice button one practice button one or if it's my template i can save it as a template now for example this one i can call it home page then i right click save picture as i can call it home page or capture home page button just to make it easier when i'm looking for this information now to save time i can even now just copy that button i go i've got another this so that i maintain the consistency i can call that uh, maybe uh, vistas page so right click so this is the problem now if you find that the font I mean the font size is big first find the longest word and decide for example if the longest one is about 28 then make all your font text as 28 so right click save picture as then I'll go to uh, that see vistas page and there you are so now I have actually created buttons if I go back to my images you will see I've now managed to create my images so they're here if I right click and open that can you see that's already a button so this is now taking us really short amount of time so what I want you to do is I want you to go and look at the type of buttons you want to create I want you to look at the graphics uh, on a professional website try to see if you can create things like that so at least for now you've managed to see how people create professional graphics using powerpoint so the things i showed you at the beginning i all used the powerpoint i didn't need to use anything else so this is how people manage to create graphics using powerpoint so what i'm encouraging you to do is look at professional websites such as uh this website here all they did is that's a simple shape they, that's digital marketing is another text box that's all they did so when you look at websites like this this is really a small circle as uh, with blue dots I mean white dots this is a, a free line is a text box and we've got a, a circle here and I think another th about three circles so this is how people manage creative professional looking uh, graphics so now I will stop here and at least you've managed now to see how people create uh, graphics using uh, PowerPoint hopefully I've managed it to show you some ideas and look out for another tutorial where I even managed to show you more complicated stuff using PowerPoint so good luck go back to your work and see that you can use it, uh, PowerPoint to create your buttons and banners so thank you for listening and I look forward to seeing you in another tutorial